All right, Holly. Um, I know you want to get to the fun decorating stuff first. I know everybody does, but I thought it would be really important to show you how to roll out and cut your cookies. So I have a really good sugar cookie dough recipe that I'll share with you. It's not mine. I got it off of this, uh, off the internet from a lady who makes a lot of cookies and I use the same exact recipe every single time and they come out perfect and taste great every single time. So, um, let's get to it. All right. So this has been chilling in the fridge. So it's kind of, you know, it's nice and firm. You just get you some flour. Okay. And you want to make sure you sprinkle it on a nice clean surface. So your table or the counter. Okay. And then I have a full batch of dough. I just split it in half because it's really hard to roll a big thing of dough and keep it all even. Okay. So you can put a little bit on the top and then you put some on your rolling pin. Okay. So some people roll differently. Everybody's just kind of different. I like to go back and forth. Some people only press it one direction. But the important thing is that you move your dough. So that's why you need a good thick dough so you can pick it up and move it. And that's also why you want to chill it in the fridge so that it's, um, it's, it holds together. Because when it gets too sticky, your cookies don't have a good, sh nice, solid shape to them. So just keep rolling. And if it gets stuck to the table a little bit, like you can put your hand under there and feel like if it's getting stuck, you just grab some more flour and throw it, throw it in there. I like to kind of roll it in what's on the side and it kind of pulls it in. All right, so for sugar cookies, you want like a nice thick cookie. So I know you're a math girl um, and so am I. So what I do is I find, I found something um, that was about a fourth of an inch thick. Okay, so a fourth of an inch. If you cut an inch into four pieces, it would be as thick as one of the pieces. So you can take a ruler around your house and find something that's about as thick as a fourth of an inch. What I'm doing here is I'm kind of feeling, because I can feel like it's really, it's kind of low down here and kind of big here in the middle so I know I need to spread this out some more but I don't want to spread this too much because I'm getting pretty close to a fourth of an inch over there so I'm gonna just kind of pull it you don't want to press too hard when you're rolling um, when you start out you kind of can to get it all um, rolled out but just try to be as even as you can you don't want to press too hard on one side or the other so just Try to press as evenly as you can. If you get cracks like that, that's really not a big deal. You can just kind of pinch it. It doesn't have to be in a perfect circle either because you'll just take the leftovers anyways and do this all over again. It does kind of take some time to sit here and roll your dough, but after 